Hi, let's work on the uh, chapter factorization exercise 14.4, page 228. Find and correct the errors in the following mathematical statements. Question number 1 4 into x minus 5 is equal to 4x minus 5. 4 into x minus 5 is equal to 4 into x is 4x minus 4 into 5 is 20. So the answer is 4x minus 20. It is not 4x minus 5. Question number 2. x into 3x plus 2 is equal to 3x square plus 2. So x into 3x plus 2 will be equal to x into 3x is 3x square plus x into 2 is 2x. So this is the answer. Question number 3. 2x plus 3y is equal to 5xy. Now 2x plus 3y, they have different variables x and y which cannot be common if it is in the case of multiplication. Suppose if it is 2x into 3y, then it can be written as 2 into 3 is 6, x into y, xy can be written as 6xy. But here we have a plus sign. So they will be just 2x plus 3y. It is not 5xy. Question number 4. x plus 2x plus 3, 3x is equal to 5x. Now here x plus 2x plus 3x. They have the same variable. So we can add the numerals. So this is 1x plus 2x plus 3. It is equal to 6x is the answer. Question number 5. 5y plus 2y plus y minus 7y is equal to 0. 5y plus 2y plus y minus 7y. We will take the LHS. 5 plus 2. If all these have the same variable y. So we can add the terms. 5 plus 2 7. 7 plus 1 8. 8 minus 7 is equal to 1. So this 1y which is equal to just y and not equal to 0. Question number 6. 3x plus 2x is equal to 5x square. 3x plus 2x. That is when we always add or subtract the terms, the variables will be as such. Only in the case of multiplication, the variable will get squared or will get cubed according to that. So this is 3x, this is 2x. So 3 plus 2 will be 5x. 5x will be the answer. Suppose if we have 3x into 2x, if it is in the multiplication sign, then 3 into 2 is 6, x into x is x square, it will be 6x square. Since we have the plus sign here and the same variables, we just are going to add the numerals. So 5x is the answer. Question number 7, 2x square plus 4 into 2x plus 7 equal to 2x square plus 8x plus 7. Now, taking 2x the LHS 4 into 2x plus 7 is, can be written as 2x the whole square will be 2 square x square. So 2 square is 4 x square is x square plus 4 into 2x will be 8x plus 7. Now this is not 2x. This is 2x the whole square is 4 x square. 2x the whole square is 4 x square. If we write 2 into x the whole square then it will be 2 into the square is only for the x, so it is x square. Here it is 2x the whole square. So it is 4x square and not 2x square. So this is the answer. Question number 8. 2x the whole square plus 5x is equal to 4x plus 5x is equal to 9x. Now 2x the whole square plus 5x is 4x square. It is 2x the whole square. So 2 square into 2x the whole square will be 2 square into x square which is equal to 4x square. So value is 4x square plus 5x. Now this is x square and this is x. 
so we cannot add the terms it is just 4x square plus 5x is the answer question number 9 3x plus 2 the whole square is equal to 3x square plus 6x plus 4 this is in the form 3x plus 2 the whole square is a plus b the whole square identity 1 that is a square that is 3x the whole square because here a is equal to 3x b is equal to 2 so a square plus 2 into a into b is 2 plus b the whole square now this is 3 square x square so 9 x square plus 2 3 is a 6 3 2 6 2 is a 12 12 x plus 4 this is the answer question number 10 substituting x is equal to minus 3 in a x square plus 5x plus 4 gives minus 3 square plus 5 into minus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 9 plus 2 plus 4 equal to 15 let's take the LHS 5x x square plus 5x plus 4 now substituting minus 3 in terms of x minus 3 the whole square plus 5 into minus 3 plus 4 now minus 3 into minus 3 square the whole square will be minus 3 into minus 3 which is equal to minus into plus, plus minus is plus then 3 into 3 is 9 so it is equal to 9 the answer is 9 minus into plus is minus 5 into 3 15 plus 4 which is equal to 15 min, minus 15 plus 4 is minus 11 so 9 minus 11 is minus 2 will be the answer next question b x square minus 5x plus 4 gives minus 3 the whole square minus 5 into minus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 9 minus 15 plus 4 equal to minus 2 now we will take the LHS x square minus 5x plus 4 we will substitute minus 3 here so minus 3 the whole square minus 5 into minus 3 plus 4 which is equal to minus 3 the whole square as we saw it is 9 minus into minus is plus 5 into 3 is 15 15 plus 4 which is equal to 9 plus 19 the answer will be 28 it is not minus 2 C x square plus 5x gives minus 3 the whole square plus 5 into minus 3 is equal to minus 9 minus 15 is minus 24 is given we'll take the LHS x square plus 5x when we substitute minus 3 for x minus 3 the whole square plus 5 minus 3 minus 3 the whole square will be 9 plus into minus is minus 3 into 5 is 15 the answer will be minus 6 question number 11 y minus 3 the whole square is y square minus 9 now using the y minus 3 the whole square we will take the LHS using the identity 2 this is a is equal to y b is equal to 3 so a square minus 2 into a into b plus b square the answer is y square minus 2 into 3 is 6 minus 6 y plus 9 is the answer question number 12 z plus 5 minus this is z plus 5 the whole square is z square plus 25 here using identity 1 that is z plus 5 the whole square is equal to a is z here b is 5 here so a square plus 2 into a into b plus b square is equal to z square plus 10 z plus 25 is the answer 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन टू ए प्लस थ्री बी इंटू ए माइनस बी इज इक्वल टू टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री बी स्क्वायर विल टेक दी एल एच एस टू ए प्लस थ्री बी इंटू ए माइनस बी नो फर्स्ट टेक द वैल्यू टू ए मल्टीप्लाई इज टू बी द होल टर्म ए माइनस बी देन प्लस थ्री बी विल राइट देन मल्टीप्लाई विद द होल टर्म ए माइनस बी जिस इक्वल टू टू ए इन टू ए टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए इन टू बी टू ए बी प्लस थ्री बी इन टू ए थ्री ए बी माइनस थ्री बी इन टू बी थ्री बी स्क्वायर जिस इक्वल टू टू ए स्क्वायर नो दिस बोथ आर द लाइक टर्म्स सो माइनस टू ए बी प्लस थ्री ए बी विल बी प्लस ए बी माइनस थ्री बी स्क्वायर इज द आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन ए प्लस फोर इन टू ए प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस एट सो दिस विल बी ए इन टू ए प्लस टू प्लस फोर इन टू ए प्लस टू जिस इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए प्लस फोर ए प्लस एट This is equal to e square plus collecting the like terms. Six e plus e is the answer. Question number fifteen. E minus four and two e minus two is e square minus eight. E minus four and two e minus two. This is e in two e minus two minus four and two e minus two. This is equal to e square minus two e minus four e plus plus into minus plus minus into minus is plus. So four into two is eight. This is equal to e square minus six e plus eight is the answer. Question number sixteen. Three x square by three x square is zero. Three x square by three x square. So anything. Divided by that is the number two divided by two will be always one. It is not equal to zero. So the answer is similarly here three x square by three x square. The answer will be one when we divide by the same term. Question number seventeen. Three x square plus one the whole divided by three x square will be one plus one is two. Now if we have the common denominator, then we can take it as three x square by 3x square will split the numerator into plus 1 by 3x square. This is equal to 3x square by 3x square is 1 plus 1 by 3x square. This is the answer. Problem number 18. 3x by 3x plus 2 is equal to 1 by 2. Now, if we have the denominator, we will take. 3x by 3x plus 2 the LHS. Now if we have the, for example, a plus b divided by c, then if we have the common denominator, then we can split this as a plus b, a by c plus b by c. We have the common denominator. We can split up the numerators by having the common denominator. But we have a by b plus c. We cannot split. This is wrong. A by A by B plus A by C. We cannot split it. So if we have the common denominator, we can split it. So this will be just three x by three x plus two. Question number nineteen. Three by four x plus three is equal to one by four x. Similarly, here three by four x plus three cannot be split up, so it is just three by four x plus three. Question number twenty. Four x plus five divided by four x equal to five. Now this can be split up as four x by four x plus five by four x, which is equal to four x by four x is one, and this will be one five by four x. This is the answer. Question number twenty one. Seven x plus five divided by five equal to seven x. So this can be given as seven x by five plus five by five. This is equal to seven x by five plus 
1 which is not equal to 7x so this is the answer